point game. Final seconds. Bulls look for the win. DeRozan to win it. Go! DeMar DeRozan. White to inbound. Feeds DeRozan. DeRozan. Pump fake for the win. Got it again! Well, that was interesting. Coming into this NBA season, a team that was looked at by a lot of people were the Chicago Bulls because they had one of the craziest off seasons that we've seen in a very long time. Because of one off season, the Chicago Bulls went from a team that won about 30 to almost 40 games to now a team that is the number one seed. And they also became a team that has the potential to possibly do really good things in the playoffs and maybe even win an NBA championship. And I mean, how could you not love to watch this team? I mean, Zach Levine's been a guy that has been so deserving of a chance to make the playoffs for years. He's such a talented player. DeMar DeRozan has somehow revived his career in Chicago and is being seen as an MVP candidate, which with the way he's been playing lately, I don't think that's such a bad take. This team is so fun to watch and they have so many talented players. It's insane and I love watching the Chicago Bulls. However, as successful as the Chicago Bulls are, a whole lot of people are not talking about this team being a legitimate contender for the NBA championship. So in this video, I want to talk about why not only the NBA media, but even some NBA YouTubers refuse to talk about the Chicago Bulls. Of course, before I get into this video, if you guys could leave a like on this and subscribe to the channel for new and notifications on, I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year, and your subscription would greatly appreciate it. Let's get into the video. Now, when it comes to these types of videos, which I've done on some teams like the Phoenix Suns and the Utah Jazz, those teams were considered to be smaller market teams in the NBA, and I've explained the smaller market thing so many times. They're not technically like real small markets in the world, but in the NBA, they're a small market. I don't know how else to explain it. But when it comes to the Chicago Bulls, it's more of a different story. As most of you know, the argument that they're a smaller market team does not apply because the Chicago Bulls are definitely not a small market, especially for NBA standards. In fact, they're one of the more popular teams in the NBA when you think of legacy. And if you need more context, I'm talking about teams like the Celtics and the Lakers. You're probably gonna put the Chicago Bulls top five when you think of legacy teams. I mean, the greatest of all time played for that team. How could you not? So the argument that, oh, the NBA media doesn't want to talk about them because they're a small market and they're not popular, that's just a flat out lie if I was even going to try to push that out. One of the first things I think we definitely point out is that this team was very much doubted when it came into the offseason because so many people thought that DeMar DeRozan to the Chicago Bulls was just something that was insane. And not insane yes. like this is really good or really crazy, insane like this makes no sense, why would you do this, this is a dumb trade. Mind you, last season DeMar DeRozan wasn't even considered a top 50 player, which Silent I can give a little justification to that because he's playing for the San Antonio Spurs and everyone knows what's going on with that organization right now. However, let's not pretend like DeMar DeRozan wasn't averaging 21 and 7 on 50% shooting. So when the Chicago Bulls got him in free agency, some people said that this was a terrible move and that it just did not make sense. Even though the trade was just Thaddeus Young, which isn't a terrible player and a first rounder and second rounder, I think that a lot of people even thought that this was a little too much. However, when seeing the trade, I thought this made perfect sense. The year before, he did shoot around 25% from three, so I did understand that spacing might be a little difficult, which in hindsight is not even true because the man is averaging about 37% from the three-point line this year. But on top of that, DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine on the same team almost seemed like a match made in heaven. On top of getting Lonzo Ball, which is one of the players that I feel like is still criminally underrated. See, he's not going to go out there and drop you 20 and 10. Instead, you're going to get about 13, 5, and 5. Or maybe even like 10, 10, and 6. He's not really known for scoring the basketball, but when he absolutely needs to take the shots, he can take the shots and shoot them pretty efficiently. I haven't even talked about Alex Caruso, who is a really good role player for them. So you would think when free agency ends that a lot of people would have the Chicago Bulls as a top team, right? Well, the NBA media was not very fond of this DeMar DeRozan signing. I know I just said signing even though it was a sign-in trade, but may I digress. In fact, some people are calling this one of the worst signings in the offseason. Which, if you mean to tell me I can give up Thaddeus Young and a couple picks for DeMar DeRozan, I would have taken that trade any single day of the week. Even though I don't think anyone actually thought DeMar DeRozan was going to be this good, because we all knew Zach Levine was that guy and he will still always be that guy. I mean, it's not like anything changed. However, DeMar DeRozan has easily proved that he has definitely stepped up as a player and should be considered for the MVP race. Of course, we all know Steph Curry is probably going to still end up winning the MVP, but 
regardless, I think DeMar DeRozan should at least be considered. Now something that we need to know is that when the NBA media says something and it ends up not being true, they like to act like nothing happened. Even though me and a bunch of Chicago Bulls fans remember that a lot of people said this was the one of the worst signings of all time. I think what's crazier is even the fact that no one's even looking at this team as a legit contender. Currently, they are the number one seed right now in the Eastern Conference and you love to see it. Do I think they're going to stay the number one seed the whole time? Well, if we look at the way they've been playing lately, I think that's a very safe assumption to make. I mean, DeMar DeRozan is playing absolutely out of his mind. Zach Levine is being Zach Levine. Lonzo has been really good on this team. Alex Caruso is helping with the bench. So talent wise, I think it's safe to say that this team has more than enough to be successful. Some people maybe say, oh, they don't have a whole lot of playoff experience. But if you look at the Phoenix Suns last year, I think we can all throw that point right out the window. I also want to remind people that they literally just got done with a crazy Rona outbreak and they had what like nine guys out at one point. So there's a very good chance the margin between first and second place could have been really big if the Chicago Bulls did not have a Rona outbreak. Who knows, maybe they needed that to go on a run. Of course, if you're not new to this channel, you probably know that the NBA media loves to talk about teams like the Lakers, the Nets, even when they're doing bad right now. I'm not talking about the Nets, I'm mostly talking about the Lakers. In the NBA media currently, it seems like there's like this circle going on of the best teams that they've been starting to talk about. And I will say, I think Phoenix is kind of starting to enter that, but they're not there yet. This bubble, or as I like to call them, the top three, would consider of the Lakers, Warriors, and Nets. Even though we all know the Lakers are not at all that team, and they're probably not even going to make the playoffs unless they make a significant change, the Lakers are the Lakers. They're always going to be talked about. They're always going to have sellout crowds. So at the end of the day, they're going to get their coverage. I will justify the Lakers though, unless they're talking about just LeBron James, because LeBron James has been going absolutely insane. And maybe that's a video for another discussion, even though they still do continue to talk about the Lakers and their detriment of a season. However, I think we need to add a team to that top three and make it a top four and have it consist of the Chicago Bulls. They have the talent, they have the grit, they have the depth, they have every single thing you could need. Am I trying to convince you that this team is perfect? Absolutely not. And I still don't think they're the best team in the whole NBA. However, they're a top team in the East. And if I had to bet on a team on the East to make the NBA Finals, I would like to bet on the Chicago Bulls. I honestly see the Bucks falling in around the second round, and I see the Brooklyn Nets maybe making it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but losing to the Chicago Bulls. And I think that this team will finally start to click even better as if they already haven't as the season goes on. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys do leave a like on this and subscribe to the channel if you're new with notifications on. Before this video does end, I want to give a shout out to someone in my Discord by the name of Toxic Tater. I hope I'm saying your name right. He suggested that I talk about the Chicago Bulls in a video, and I was like, you know what? DeMar DeRozan has been going crazy lately. They're now the number one team in the East, so it was only right that I talked about them for a video. If you guys do want to help me with making videos and maybe give me some video ideas, you guys can join the Discord. That will be in the link in the description below. Also, make sure you do check out my group channel, LUT. We are going to be posting a video on January 7th, which is Friday, if you do not know. We're planning to do a day in the life, so if you guys do want to see that, make sure you guys are subscribed to LUT. Like I said, link will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Take care. Peace. I never met